Rugby WA kicking off. Game number two here on day three of the Women's National Championships brought to you by Harvey Norman. Will be NZ with the first chance with ball in hand. And they'll start their set in decent field position. So they move their way up the field just short of the halfway line. Honika Samita waiting for it in the two jersey. Tipped on there from Lynch Brown. She was impressive yesterday on day two. She's moving their way up the field by Hammer. This time takes it down right on the 40. And there's a penalty. First one of the morning. Gibbons New Zealand. Just hanging around a bit too long there. That's a good touch finder as well. So now New Zealand, a good chance to attack here early on. Now uh, Louis takes it up. Shirt fronter there and big contact over the top. So now after roll up, getting it back down to the left hand edge, and that is some good skills as well. Louis, the final pass. Faith Waka on the left hand edge here. Open their account. Yeah, I think that the Aotearoa women have just been building. Day one, they had a bit of a slow start. Day two, they really made their presence known. And we've already seen points within the first couple of minutes here. As we'll see the replay, she dummied right. And lovely little offload to find her four before going to Waaka Manea, the 15, to put early points on for Aotearoa. Better and better each day, and I guess that's what this carnival and competition is about, is all that development, but you can certainly see it from where these teams started on day one to, to the skill levels that they possess now. You talk about skill, that was great vision there, and eyes up footy to spot a chance. And a pretty skinny short side as well. And they lead four points to nil. There's Ruporo. Natukana lines up the extra two. That one stays left. So still remains four points to nil. Three minutes gone in this first half. to the boot there of Thompson who kicks it and now regathers and finds on a semel for her first carry and an aggressive contact as well these two forward packs going head to head Samita waiting for it and again shelf mill positive start already from New Zealand. And as I say, that a little error at the base there. Just by Hammer, getting a bit cute with it on the play of the ball, and that'll be an error and a first chance with the ball in hand for WA. Excited to see how WA respond here. Like you said, they haven't had a lot of ball already five minutes in. So a completed set will certainly boost their confidence. And it looks like they're set up to the left and the right. And they head left. So Western Australia with their first chance as April Allen juggles it. And gets swarmed, ball and all. Dynamic 
A young footballer, April Allen. 3.25 seconds over 20 metres. She can fly. Just look for her to try and find some space as this game progresses. WA have all the work to do, just sort of halfway. Again, look at that for an absolute shot. Under the ribs. Thanks for coming. Play hammer this time. Hoof the shot. As WA move forward inside the 40. Right side. Horner, she straightens. And good pop off the ground as well. This is looking promising now for Western Australia. As Kelly Thompson tucks the head and takes the tackle. Fifth and final now. Now the back door they go through Toby and she gets charged down. And the referee is saying that potentially was played at. Yes, it was. So Toby will play it. Left through Allen. Wrestled to the ground. Western Australia. Can they make this chance count? Four points of difference early in this first half. Claire drops it back on the Nathan, running straight into the line. That one's deemed a loose carry there, and it will be turned over from Arsam. So after roll up. We stand the first onslaught from WA. And now they'll bring it back just outside the 30. Not a bad first offensive attack for WA. Probably not exactly how they'd like to finish, but they did have a repeat set there. Just a little bit of a loose carry uh, from Nona Bush. Want to Semmel? Takes it up the middle. Pokes her nose right over halfway. She plays it now. Samita going towards the line, trying to get the hands free, and she does so. Great offload to Pai Hammer. The hit woman. Pai Hammer plays it. Right side. To Utama. Puts that one along the ground. April Allen's got some work to do back there. She juggles it in her own in goal, and will get cleaned up. Good option there from... Pearl to Itama, and a repeat set coming the way of Aturoa. Great vision from the half. She used the kick. That was all strategy for them to take it deep and force the in-goal kick out. So another set. Seeing a lot more use of strategy, strategy and structure, I would say, from the Aturoa women, which they've been developing as the comp goes on. So New Zealand looking for their second try of the morning. A good field position to do just that as they rumble their way forward. This drive through by Tiri D. She'll play it. Just a metre short now. Back into the pocket they go. To Utama. Finds Lynch Evans. That one's intercepted. And here go Western Australia striding forward. The cover's coming across. The white jerseys are coming from absolutely everywhere. And Swinell will be tracked down eventually for Western Australia. If they can get quick ball here, they have numbers of plenty. Comes out for Thompson. She straightens. Kaylee Thompson doesn't get the hands free. And here come Western Australia looking for option. New Zealand on the back foot. And there is that penalty offside the call, not making their way back. A great vision once again. Swinell just picking that one off. Yeah, and that all started with Huiwa Swanell, the number four, also represented the Wallaroos, and you can see that. That sort of sophistication in the play and the vision from her for the intercept to take her team about 60 metres. So here they go now with a chance to hit right back, dropping it back underneath. Western Australia looking for their first try. Tiro Hui waiting for it in that number nine jersey. At the back door they go, Claire. Shovels it on to Thompson. One more now to Swinell. She's dangerous. And now the pass on the outside. Kenny Costa. She's secured. Dummy. And go. But no way through again from Thompson. And an error as well. So New Zealand 
were forced to work to get back on their own line after conceding a penalty as well, they do survive this onslaught. Yeah, it was a real scramble from the Altarola defence, especially what started with such a great run from Swanell. So a little bit of a disappointing end to that set to, to finish with a mistake. But the momentum's building. They're starting to cook up some, some of the plays for WA. The number of attacking raids on both sides early on. Score does remain four points to nil. Let's head into the final nine minutes of the opening half. So now, once again, aiming up in defence. Looking for a big impact for her side. Way, trying to find some life here in defense. But Arturo holding strong in attack and they take it down. About six away from halfway. It's a good defensive set. Forced a kick from their own half. As Thompson does get to that kick and it's not a bad option as well. And an absolute hurler downtown over the head. Forced to go looking for it. It's Kenny Costa. She's got some wheels and she won't escape. The brutal defense. Coming across from Waka, the try scorer. That's desperation right there. Yeah, well, Aka, just great pressure and inside. She just followed the kick and really put the pressure on Kanakosa. But Kanakosa, she certainly has wheels herself, able to get out of the line and make a break. So Western Australia now again. Just probing up the field, trying to get something moving as Thompson just leans on that kick and it will be a couple of bounces into touch. Not a bad option there. New Zealand play the ball on their own 30. And they start the rumble once again. So we'll seesaw contest, physicality, defense being the key early on. A low scoring matchup so far. Both sides looking to open things up. Moderating Mitchell onto the field. Maddie, she'll play it. To Utama, goes left. So Thompson, the number 12. Tiana Thompson really getting heavily involved, trying to create, create some options for her side as they find some space on the outside. Pickering. That will be a change over there. There was space there, but it just didn't execute the way they would have liked. Yeah, it would have just come down to communication there. But Thompson, I think, is doing her best out there. She's a real key player for Aotearoa. Uh, but I just think just not getting to the kick is usually just a lack of communication. Rarely strategic. Again, a good shot. Paris Pickering. A collision there on Lowndes. She plays it. April, April Allen. And there's a penalty again. So WA, another set here to try and build some momentum. Came close for their first try, but still eluding them thus far. Scored just the one try in both their matches so far against NT and New South Wales City. So be Hungry for a few more today. Thompson. Short but well read. From Louis. And 
And that's back to back penalties. Discipline, an issue here for New Zealand. Thompson will line up the kick to try and gain some extra metres. And she does that. So running forward now, Western Australia. Robinson. Tirahui. Thompson playing short. And again, big shot. We hear that from up here. So WA now, four minutes left in this first half. Can they get the right ring score? Thompson holds it up and just dropping late and couldn't hold on to it. There's Hinaru Thompson dropping that one cold. And again, those last minute errors hurting them early on. Yeah, the second one as well when they were about 10 metres away from the try line. So the score line could look very different if they ironed out a few of these mistakes and ball security, I would say, being one of the most important ones. As Ataroa cough one up themselves. So now giving a chance for WA to hit back before the first half break. They'd love a try here to really get some momentum and confidence heading into halftime. Let's see what they can offer up here. Young. Takes some stopping, and she has all week. Go out the back door, Graham leaves that one behind and gets the pass away on the second attempt, finds Toby, and now space out wide, cutting back in off her left foot, Lowndes. She'll play it inside the 10. But then she loses it on the way down. And again, costly error for Western Australia. I'll be disappointed with that finish once again. But full credit to Arthur Roll, holding strong in deep. Just one out carries working so far for New Zealand. Make those easy meters around the ruck and then look to swing it. With their elusive outside backs. As they look to do right now, dropping it back underneath, looking for options left hand side now. Thompson. Alex for the kick. And Makaya Belarus is back there in cover. And she does make the mistake. And it is her first touch. Of course, has represented the First Nation Gems, South Australia now pulling on the WA jersey, our American International. Great to see her back out there. Such an athlete as well, Marque, and also her Canadian counterpart, Megan, who is also, I think, on the bench for WA. But they're playing, you know, one to two games per day and backing it up. So <laughs> the physicality and athleticism of all the players, particularly Marque and Megan, is really, really impressive. But unfortunately for Marquette, just losing control of that one. It's now getting a chance for New Zealand to get their second score. Sampson. And Samita has a snipe and sends a loopy pass over the top. And isn't a bad one as well. Just running out of room. It gets a, a hand in there as well from WA. So after all, reset here and go again. On a Simmel. Runs into the shoulders there of Foster. So close now and a chance to further extend their lead. If they can execute here. A great pass over the top. Louis kicks it ahead. Can she regather and score? And you bet you can. That is special. Shania Louis gets New Zealand second. And she picked it up off her bootlaces. That was nothing short of sensational. She had a bit of work to do. Marcao was staring her down, but she certainly worked. They started on the right side with a great run from Onasemo before the hooker puts in 
<laughs> Quite like a 30-meter pass. Touches the boot of Louis, and then she puts it down to get some more points before halftime for Aotearoa. That is so hard to do at full flight. Makaya Balu is right all over her. She picks it up and scores. Great skill from New Zealand. Now they extend eight points to nil. It's going to be one of the best tries, I would say, of the carnival. Just individual brilliance from Shania Louie, the number four, the centre for Aotearoa. Tiana Thompson with the kicking duties. Trying to bend that around. Fall short. So it's a good start for New Zealand. They have a handy lead. Eight points to nil at half time. It is. Nakia Aotearoa holding an 8 0 lead over WA so far. Second 20 to find out. And it all unfolds, and that is the worst possible start. Is the Canadian Pakulis with the error there. Coming off the hand, so just gives New Zealand a perfect start to attack. Yeah, it really is the perfect start. I think we're seeing a different style of rugby as well because it's the third day now, so a lot of these players are playing under duress. So you're really starting to see mistakes you didn't necessarily see in day one and day two because these girls are using whatever is left in the tank on day three. So mistakes like this are going to happen. They're under fatigue, like I said, under duress. But probably couldn't happen at a worse possible time for WA. A great chance now for New Zealand to extend their lead once again through Thompson. She's creating all the magic. And now a pop pass over the top is an absolute beauty. And Waka will be held up just short of the line. Great defence in Western Australia. That had to be made. And they all arrive to help out. New Zealand still holding on. Good, quick hands. On his semo, gets hit by her opposite number, Foster. In a good connection once again. And that one, a low pass at the hands and a knock on there from New Zealand. Great momentum from New Zealand though, especially that left edge. And I love what uh, Thompson is doing. She's just leading the pack around. She's doing a lot of work and she was instrumental in the first half as well. I'm sure we're going to see a lot of her in the second half too. There's a bit of extra oomph for your day three. Fired up, trying to win that scrum. I was saying there's not much left in the tank, but there's clearly plenty if they're contesting scrums. Western Australia now on their own line. That one goes straight over the top and forces a scramble on it. And they do very well to stay outside the end goal under immense pressure. Now tackle two on their own five. Huge defensive effort. A little pillar of Arturoa's game. So WA through Foster. She is their inspirational leader, but even the powerful Claudia Foster gets put on her back as well. And here's an opportunity down the flank, cutting back in with Webb. And the Fremantle Roosters. Taylor will play it. Bounce pass, Foster. Plays at the back door to Thompson, who gets that kick away. And it will go center field straight down the throat 
there of Lynch Brown. And she dummies over the top and eventually gets taken around the legs from Sunel making the tackle. Louis, who scored that sensational try just before half time. Sampson gets whacked. Again, Bakulis trying to make up for that initial error. WA trying to muscle up here in defence. Under a bit of pressure in this second half. But here come New Zealand, hot on the attack, holding. And getting caught. Final tackle now for New Zealand. Goes on the short side by Hammer. Looking to get the arms free and now pumps the leg. Reaching out and there's a try. I don't know how she's done it, but she had. There was about four or five WA defenders on the ground. And Janice Payhammer gets the score for Arturoa. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, here's the replay here. They play the right side. Who's there? It's Shanice Payhammer. She does one, two, three, four. Five of the WA defenders she takes in her stride. Just another day in the office for the lock. The 13, Shanice Pyhammer. Look at them all, all on the deck around her. <laughs> just carnage. <laughs> She's just left an absolute trail of destruction. That destruction being five of WA's defence. But up until that, honourable mention goes to Peculis, the 22. She was in three back-to-back -back tackles for WA's defence, but just not strong enough. Not Five of them weren't strong enough to stop the Aotearoa, number 13, by Hammer. Absolute freight train. Here's Shanice. New Zealand now do well to continue the dominance, leading 12 points to nil as Thompson lines up another tough assignment. They don't get any easier for Tiana. And the strike is good. Just didn't have the legs there, so score remains 12 points to nil. We see it one more time. A one for the showreel. Draws in five, left one six in her trail. Pai Hammer. Four more points for Aotearoa. WA restarts play. Good scoop there from Pickering on the bounce. It's a rugby league. It's a game of momentum. And at the moment, at the moment, Arturoa has plenty of it. On a semi. Flings it away. And there's a try screw again by Hammer. Again, taking some stopping. Three WA defenders in that collision. She'll play. Samita. Great to see a New Zealand team in this competition. A big welcome to our New Zealand audience joining us this morning on day three. Cheering on your side and looking the goods early on. 12 points to nil so far. Roderick Mitchell. Should play it. Final play now for New Zealand. Thompson back into the pocket and kicks it right side. And it's a bit short then. It just gets caught in the ground there. And Allen just got in the nick of time because Paris Pickering was right there. And they do get a relieving penalty at WA. Just need to find some momentum here. A bit of structure in their play. Yeah, relief indeed. Because they just didn't feel like there was a lot of urgency to pick that ball up. And when you've got 12 points and you've got, you know, the absolute steed of Aotearoa, you really need to work fast to get that ball. That'll help as well, an absolute shoot on that kick. Find the line over halfway. It's Western Australia, look for their first try. About 40 metres to home for WA. And winding up. Porter. The youngest in the squad, just 18 years of age. 
Graham at first receiver drops it back underneath Foster. A real impact in everything she does. She'll keep fighting to the very end, regardless of the scoreline. To WA, this is their best chance. Thompson shovels it on. A good pass to Swinnell. She'll be hard to stop. Pumps the legs, but driving her back is Arturoa. And she'll play it virtually on the try line. So close for Western Australia. Here they go again. Holding it up. Good shot over the top. This time on Claire. Thompson not looking for it. It does get fired out. And there's a collision right there. Arsene. She's a powerful body, but again, Thompson was looking left. The ball arrived and it landed in the arms of the prop. You don't want to have the ball in the fifth and final. Yeah, just unfortunately looking in the wrong direction to where she should have been. Something else has caught the half's attention. Uh, but Arsene did her best there to finish on the fifth and final. A big contact, actually, to finish. Frida Arsene. Number 19, WA. And again, New Zealand, they're scoring some good points, but they're holding them out as well. The D has been very impressive. Yeah, the offense and defense, they just keep building and building. I think that Altaroa have become one of the most impressive teams in the comp so far, just with their determination. And, you know, the ball is starting to spread between their forward pack and backs more. We're starting to see that back line involved a lot more. But when you've got, you know, a twin forward pack in the Onisemo girls, it's really hard to beat. So right on halfway now in New Zealand, their final play of the set. Back for Thompson once again. That's a good clearing kick. We're all taken from Belarus, and she's an absolute flyer. She can get some clear pasture, and she does! And then bobbles it at the final hurdle. Now here goes Amani Shepard in some clear space on the outside. Defence to attack. And Ataroa getting it done here on day three. Absolute cruncher of a tackle though came from Shania Louie on Bayless to force the error early on. But here we see very high kick. You give Markera a little bit of space and she's off. And she certainly was. She broke through the line. But there she is, the number four, Louie, before it's collected by Armani Shepard, who just puts the gas down and a 30-metre run to secure another four points for Altearoa. Great counter-attack, rugby league right there. Shepard swooping on it. And once she had some clear space ahead, it was shut the gate. Score now 16 points to nil. Remain 16 points to nil. New Zealand firmly in control. Here's a replay. Individual brilliance from the number one, Armani Shepard. Once she has a little bit of open space, she put the pedal to the metal and found the white line. Good crowd building here as well at the Pizzy Park Complex. In Miami, on day three actions. If you're in the local area, come down and check out some great rugby league. Plenty of action still to come today, and then more of the same tomorrow on day four. All taken there from Rupor. WA having no answers so far against New Zealand, but now they may have a chance to respond. They're desperate for some tries. 
They've been promising, but execution on that last pass has been an issue. Yeah, it's really that fourth and fifth tackle that they get to, whether they're tackled on the fifth or uh, like an error is forced on the fourth. So they're just having a lot of try, a lot of trouble completing these sets. Not to say that they can't do it now. They have a good chance once again. The inspirational number seven, Kaylee Thompson. Holding it up nicely now, straightening up the middle through Horner. This is their best chance of this second term. Having a, a snipe from close quarters, but running into the shoulders there. Good shot. Focus the leader all over that one. Poor pass, but scooped up eventually. And now Mato. Outside the 10, Graham. Sends a nice pass out wide. And putting it in reverse. But no way through it once again. So Porter plays it. And now out to Thompson. Looking for that cross field kick. And it goes too deep. And it's just easily taken in the end goal. So no need to stress about that one. She comes out to the 20 and taps. And here she goes. It's a bit deep there from Perth. Uh, from WA. Yeah, and a, but a cleaner set. Like, they've got to be happy with that set. They're certainly building something there, but, you know, all testament to the defence of Aotearoa. On multiple occasions there, they had tri-savers. And a chance to make their way out the field a bit easier as well. A penalty to New Zealand. Final four and a half in this contest. New Zealand, can they deliver one final blow for the full-time siren? 30 from the house as they go out to the try score Shepherd Dummies. Good defence there from Makaya Belarus. Jamming had to be made and she did make a good tackle in the end. Thompson floats it out, left-hand side. Easy pickings there on the edge. Right foot, almost gets self foot away. Lex to hold on to it, Pai Hammer. This will be the last for Ataroa. Really slow play the ball as well. Thompson goes cross field. Plenty of runners out here and it finds the target. The catch is no good. Glossy Timo just losing that one on the outside. A good option as well. Great option. It could have been great. She's just unable to catch it. But again, great option from Aotearoa. The WA continuing. To fight in this match, two and a half minutes left. And again, Arturo's defense is so strong, but demanding quick ball. Trying to find opportunity. They go down the left. Thompson takes it over halfway. See the crowd getting a bit lively here at Burley, dropping it back underneath. Foster. Dummy, inside. Now Thompson again. A few carries on number seven, doing the tough stuff. Foster, the front rower, onto the toe. Underneath, safe. Great hands there from Ella Bossy Timo, just making up for that earlier error. 
Sasaroa just continue to weather the storm, but attack, defence, looking the goods. They're looking really solid. I'm excited to see how they go tomorrow as well, but it's a really hard one to crack for WA. Offensively and defensively, Aotearoa have just been impeccable. Hard to penetrate either way. And New Zealand aren't done with yet. Plenty of opportunities to still score. Now they have a penalty just to get even closer. Final 60 on the clock. Focus the layup. She'll play it. Final 30 seconds on the clock now for Aotearoa. Full back line out to the right-hand side. That's the way they go. Dangerous pass, but it's play on. It's worked out all right. And Ruporo, she's trying to get the money ball on the edge. Borsi Timo takes it into contact. Going centre field now by Emma. Someone needs to get a hold of her because she is so hard to stop this close towards the line. New Zealand, right side. Options, options, and now sneaking underneath and scoring the final try right on the siren. And she is happy about it. A clinical performance from New Zealand comes to a close, finishing on the perfect note. Almost poetic to finish with four points on the buzzer. We'll see it in the replay. A scoot from Dummy. She dummies herself, but she'll go all the way. That's the number two, Monica Samita. Twenty points to nil, the score. So Raporo now with the final play of the game. The rest of her side looks on. <laughs> Conversion stays right, and that will be full time. Signed, sealed, delivered for Ataroa. Full-time score, 20 points to nil.